Hi, this is Rosie with Canvas Kids Art Studio. Just wanting to let you know that we are going to open up our very own studio on 181. And we'll have a lot of classes, our fun dip class, drawing and painting classes for children. We're also going to have a three-dimensional class for eight years and up. As well as all of our adult classes, our three-dimensional class is for 16 years and up. Our adult drawing and painting for 16 years and up. And did I mention we're going to have knitting classes as well for children 10 years and up? So cool. Now let's get back to our Christmas painting. This is an adorable pug and you'll be pausing the next section so that you can see what you need. The colors you need are red, green, yellow, brown, black, and blue. You'll also need a brush, you'll need water, and you'll need a napkin. Now remember, this is in watercolors. You're not activating the paint with water. So do not get it super watery. That's only so that you can rinse it to get a new color. Step one is painting the body of our dog. And here you see me going around the eyes. Do not paint inside of the eyes. Now it's okay if you go over the pencil lines because you'll be able to see them anyway later on after it dries. Make sure you pause the video before this step is over because next we will have step number two. Step two is painting our little Christmas hat with our green. Step three is super easy. You're going to use the red paint to go below the Christmas tree. It's optional if you wanna paint the nose red like Rudolph. You don't have to, it can be black later. You'll also paint the little tongue red. Step four is using our yellow paint to paint the star. Up next is painting our background purple. Now you can choose to leave the sides of the canvases white. You don't have to, it's up to you, or you can choose to paint them um, just in case you want the whole thing to be purple all around. Up next is using black to paint the ears. Now for the eyes, pay attention. We're only going to be painting black right now, that middle section. So you're going to leave the outer portion white and the middle circle white.
We will now outline the little mouth using our black paint. So we're just gonna draw like a little happy face and then we're gonna go around the little tongue and then you're gonna go and make a little line from the nose down to the tongue, outlining it. Now, if you want, you can leave the nose red like Rudolph. If not, you can paint it black right now. This next step is optional, where you can outline the little hat. You don't have to. If you feel like your brush might be a little bit too thick, or maybe your lines are going to be not the way you want them, you can just leave it like that. It is also optional to outline the lines of your dog. Remember the ones that you had gone over with the brown? I think you can still see them. You can still see the pencil marks. You don't have to outline them, but it kind of does bring it together. Now we're gonna get ready to outline the eyes, that outer circle, with our black. Just try to be, I guess, as careful as you can. Something else I'm going to add are the little eyebrows, but they're going to be like a unibrow, so they're gonna be connected. You don't have to do this part, but I think he looks cuter. And then once you're done with that eyebrow, you can, if you want to, add like upside down little Vs, and then just makes him look cuter. With the bottom part of the brush, you're going to create little tiny circles for our Christmas tree using the red paint. Using the same method of using the back of the brush, you can also add yellow. And he's done. Look how cute he is. It would definitely help us a lot if you would like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to know more about all of our classes starting in January, please check out our website. And you can use the Linktree QR code to see all of our fun classes for the spring semester.